Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Robert Rivera with Who's On First. Behind me here, we have the Robinson Baseball Academy. They're doing some, uh, some spring training for the kids, doing some clinics. We got some players here. We're gonna talk to some players. Keep watching. All right, so what's your name? My name is Vincent Gillins. Okay. You started a new league, I see. Yes, sir. WMA, War Memorial Auditorium Recreational Baseball. We just saw the need in the, the community to start a youth baseball. We have several baseball uh, programs over Marion County, and a lot of us that's in the northwest side of town was, would have to travel all over to play baseball. But we had uh, these two fields here in the city. Uh, had the idea that they needed baseball, so we just jumped right in and, and got it going. And uh, I have my grandson, grandkids, and, and uh, you know other kids who who, who wants to play baseball. So I just just give my time. To okay. Get it. And who's this young lady we have over here? She can tell you this is this is one of our greatest supporters, one of our parents. She's always here. Okay. And what's your name? Where you're from? My name's Veronica Arno, and I'm from Ocala. Okay. Born and raised. All right. So why, what are you doing here today? Well, my son, he loves baseball, and we decided to give uh, WMA a try this year. My son is the Kai McDougal. He is 13, 12. Okay. <laughs> He's 12. 12. <laughs> Going on 13, he's 12. Who's his favorite team? The Rays, Tampa Bay Rays. The Rays? Yes, we've been to a couple games. What is he looking forward to do this year? Well, he's just looking forward to become a better baseball player, all-around baseball player. So he's a good baseball player, player, but he wants to be a great one. So that's, that's why we're here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ronnie Richardson. So what are you doing here today? I'm just out here to give back to the community, man. BJ asked me to come out and, you know, work with his teams and then also the, the league that's getting started up here. Wanted to show some support. Uh, I started playing as a kid, you know. Uh, I was a multi-sport athlete. Well, I had a couple coaches that uh, they saw as a three-sport athlete and asked me to come out, and they kind of taught me the game. Uh, Rick Jackson is his name, actually. Okay. You're you're right now, what are you doing for the Tampa Bay Rays? Uh, I'm a minor league coach for the Tampa Bay Rays. Okay. Uh, I handle mostly outfield base running and do some hitting stuff as well. The ultimate goal is to, you know, obviously everyone wants to get to the big leagues, but for me, Mine is just helping people, helping kids get to the level that they want to get to and just uh, helping guys be better men. Okay, yeah. All right, so that's something they take off the field. Yeah. Yeah, okay. The biggest thing for me, especially coming out to camps like this, is to try to make an impact on kids that um, I know a lot of people don't get an opportunity to. Who else? Jack over there. You got Trey over there. These guys are all current and former either big league guys or some guys that are still on their journey to the big league. So anytime you can get out and these guys give their time to come back and help the younger generation, I think is a great thing. All right, thank you. How you doing? What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, Bruce Larkins. I work with Play to Win Sports. Uh, proud to play to win. I coached here in college. I coached in Florida collegiately for 13 years. So we're here at the Robinson Academy. What are you trying to teach these kids today? The biggest thing is the fundamentals of the game, joy for the game, and appreciating working and, and putting in effort. I think sometimes we, we focus on the win and trying to win, which is a bigger part, big part of me, but we win because we do the fundamentals and we put in the work beforehand. Right. I want to be a Major League Baseball player. What advice would you give me? Um, continue to get stronger. Uh, continue to work. Work when nobody's watching. You have to work in the dark in order to shine in the light. So it's not about just game time. It's about that Monday morning, you know, waking up, doing your push-ups before school. It's about that Tuesday afternoon swinging when you don't feel like swinging when it's cold. It's about that Wednesday running your sprints when it's when it doesn't, you know, when no one's around working in the dark in order to shine in the light. Right. I know. I, I saw you gave the speech about uh, the grades in school yes. and uh, yes. how important is that? A academics are everything. So with my company, I, I help high schoolers find uh, colleges across the country, and we see more kids eliminated from schools based on the academics than their athletic ability. Right now, middle, in middle school, it doesn't matter. But high school, you want to make those A's because you don't want to eliminate an opportunity because of academics. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. All right. And look who we got here, our friend Becky. Thank you. 
Rise into the base. Baby, next time, Andy. <laughs> At the bar? How you doing? What's your name? Trey Home. And who are you playing with right now? I'm a free agent right now. I was with the Arizona Diamondbacks for five years. Okay. All right. So, so where's your love of the game come from? Um. Well, I come from a football family, so I always I like to be different. So, I wanted to do something different, and uh, baseball was what I found. And uh, been playing ever since I was four, and I never stopped. Okay. So, I mean, you're here at the Robinson Academy helping these kids out. What's your goal today? What are you looking to do with these kids? Just teach them the fundamentals. That's it. Keep it simple. Not, not, not trying to do anything special. Teach them everything that I know, everything I'm still learning. I get to come out and learn from them as well. It's, it's fun. Okay. And uh, what, if, you, if I was a young kid to say, hey, I want to become a major leaguer, what advice would you give me? Just stick with it. It's a tough game. It's a game of failure. It's, you're going to have your struggles. You got to stick with it. It's going to be tough mentally and physically. You just got to push through it and keep going. You never know what's, what's in store for you in this game. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, for sure. All right, so what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name's Khalil Lee. I'm playing with the New York Mets right now. Okay. Like to play there, love the fans there. So then playing in Syracuse as well, the, it was a good experience playing over there as well, too. All right, so I mean, what are you doing here at the Robinson Academy today? Uh, we're out here, you know, helping out the youth, just uh, giving some pointers to the, to the kids out here, trying to get them right and uh, give, them, give them all the information that we know. So we can help them grow up and uh, play and, and, and reach their dreams, their goals of playing in the major leagues, just like just like me. All right. So, what advice would you give one of these kids here? What would you say to them? Uh, I tell them to put in the extra work. Um, you know, we're coming out here for this camp, and it's nice and all, but the, the real work happens when no one's looking, when no one's watching. You know, you gotta it's consistency. The name of the game is consistency. So, the more work and uh, practice you put in outside of team practice, the better off you're gonna be. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank All you. Right. What's your name? Michael Smith. I'm the uh, trainer. Basically. Trainer? What do you do for as far as training? We basically just uh, rehabilitate the body during the off season. During the season, there's so much wear and tear, so many compensatory patterns that they just well, well, well that they create by making adjustment after adjustment. 162 right. games is a long season, so you know you don't really have time to fully take care of something. You just you. you you find compensation one way or the other. That's what athletes do best, you know, because the bodies are strong. So when some, something wears out, we just go to the next thing. And during the off season, we just erase all those things to get them back to not 100%, but just what normal feels like. Okay. So what are the injuries that you're seeing? Right now, we have an ankle injury. So we know that an ankle injury is uh, evidence of a weak hip. Okay. You know, uh, we have a knee injury, so that means that there's no connection between the knee and the ankle. Okay. And then, uh, like every baseball player, shoulder injuries. So shoulder injuries just mean that we're not using the body to, to throw or to hit. So we're just learning how to basically open up the back. And, okay. and, uh, yeah, yeah. So things like that. All right. All right. Well, thank you. No uh, Mally Smith from Tallahassee, Florida. Okay. And you play for? Toronto Blue Jays. All right, so how's it up there in Toronto right now? <laughs> Probably cold. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing here in Ocala, Florida? Uh, I'm helping Benny out with the camp. Um, we're, we're opening up War Memorial Recreational Field. Um, and we're getting uh, Benny's team started with spring training. So, okay. you know, just helping out. So where's your love of baseball come from? Probably initially from, you know, I'm watching all my, my siblings play. And then as I continue to play, just enjoy the learning the in and outs of the game. Okay, so these kids, what, are they, what do you want them to take away from this today? Um, that ultimately that they, they have to want to do this to come out here. You know, that, that's the only way it makes this experience enjoyable. All right, well, thank you. No problem. Right. You guys look really, really good. Um, you guys see we got some more weapons. We added some things that failed a little bit. We pitch. I mean, I know we're going to hit. Um, we play defense, we're going to be all right this year. A lot of big tournaments. We're jumping out the gate February 26th in a really big tournament, so we're going to find out who can play and who can't. 
Thanks for having me out here. Y'all, y'all have fun today. Y'all learned some stuff today. So everything y'all learned today, y'all got to take it back home and practice it at home too. All right, that's the biggest thing. Whatever y'all learned today, you can't just do it out here when you got team practice. You have to go work on it at home and and really make it a habit. It'll be muscle memory. Everything y'all do in the field, at the plate, on the base pass, it's gonna be natural for you guys. So you don't have to think about it. All right. That was, that was good stuff today, though. Y'all did good today. Uh, I'm just gonna piggyback off of Khalil. He, he pretty much said it all. Work hard, uh, especially when you're away from the field. And enjoy this. Enjoy this time, guys. This time goes by quick. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun while you out here. I uh, just want to thank you guys for listening and uh, doing what the coach is telling you if you mess something up. Uh, and thanks for coming out and giving your all and playing hard. All right. You guys are going to have a good season. Good luck to you guys this year. Um, I'll talk about uh, make sure you do what you're supposed to do at school. The better you do at school, the better you do on the baseball field. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, good luck. The things that you've learned, don't be afraid to fail. Just to get back up there and try to do it again. That's the only way we're going to get better. All right? Do not be afraid of failure. That's something that people don't talk about enough, in my opinion, because the, if we fail, the more we do it, the better we're going to become at it. And if we don't make any mistakes, how are we going to be able to become better at it? Okay, well, I just want to uh, piggyback off of what Night Train said. Um, <laughs> Night Train. <laughs> being able to fail and being okay with failure because failure is just going to show you um, how much more ability you actually do have. You fail and you say, okay, well, I'm not doing that great right now in this. If I work on this, boom, 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 then I have that much more potential. So, I mean, it just gets to where you just, you're competing with yourself all the time. And in order to compete with yourself, Consistently, you got to take care of your body because you know you know you got many opportunities to play, but you only have one body. You got to take care of this, and we like to think that you know we're superhuman, but this thing breaks down as we get older, you know. So um, being able to properly warm up, take care of yourself uh, throughout the day, sleep, eat right, body has to turn itself on, warm up, warm up, and then you do have a responsibility to cool it down, cool it down and then uh, so that you can get back to it the next day. Hey, most of you guys want to get all this help that you guys got back here. So you guys should be appreciative of all this help you guys get. So you guys want to get thanks to BJ. No other organization does what he does, all right? But you guys got to remember, like he said, time goes by fast. I mean, I played on this field right here at Lubbock, and now I'm 52 and I'm still doing baseball. You look damn good. So time goes fast, all right? So enjoy your time and aim. Make sure you guys have fun. That's all. Make sure we battle and we finish this year. All right. All right. So we finally got Benny. A busy day today. There. All right. So what do you think you achieved today? Got kids better in the community. Kids. That's it. All right. Um, that's all we're about. Trying to create the next wave of superstars. I want to be a major leaguer. What do I have to do? Respect, dedication, and hard work, sacrifice. Baseball is a game of failure. So if you don't mind failing and getting back up, bouncing back, I mean, I think it'll work out for you. So did you see any? Uh, any major future major leaguers here today? Uh, it's too early to tell. Uh, <laughs> when they get about 40, 50, we're able to tell, but not not right now. We can't. There's, there's some talent, it's but some talent. we can't say anything about future and major athletes and all that. But all there's right. definitely some talents and some tools today we've seen. All righty. Yes, well, sir. thank you, Benny. Thank you for inviting us out. Absolutely. Thank right, you. Bro. I'm proud of you guys. You guys look real good. I hope you guys took something from it and learned from it. Um, give all the coaches a hand. A lot of kids don't get this opportunity. If you like the show, please do me a favor. Subscribe, right? right? You see it? It's right there. Subscribe, share, like, and don't forget, put that bell on. It'll ding you when I put something else on, all right?